we're going to start this off like this. 2K has slapped us in the face with brand new terms of service. And by February 28th, 2024, you must accept these terms of service to continue playing. We're going to dive into that later, though. We're going to dive deep into that because we need to maybe have a whole separate video on what's going on over here. Because 2K trying to get us out of here, bro, to be honest. But yeah, let's get right into this video. You know what we got going. First, let's get into these people on this court standing in my way. No, no. Nah. First, we're going to get into the agendas for these seismic packs. We got these seismic packs out. You got to go get an amethyst, 100 assists with an amethyst. You got to get 100 points in the paint with a diamond. Just like that. That's how I'm going to get them. Just throwing a pick and roll from the amethyst to the diamond. And then after that, you got to go get you 100 three-pointers with a pink diamond. Which shouldn't be too hard. Just throw them up there. Splash. Okay, and for those of us that need to actually see it on paper or see it written down or see the homepage, my team homepage, come down here to my team agendas. Right here on your season agendas, your seismic agendas right here, there's only three of them. Pink diamond, 53 pointers. Diamond, 100 points in the paint. Amethyst, 100 assists. And just that method I showed you, go back to the beginning and see that method I showed you. All right, now let's really get into the grits of the gravity. We're gonna see, let's see what's on this pack market. We might open a box. I'm not sure, stick around. We might open a little 10 pack or something. I'm not trying to go too crazy because I'll tell you why in a minute. But in these packs right here, we got Oscar, we got Vince, we got Chris Stapps, Paul George, Antoine Jameson, Serge Ibaka, Richard Jefferson's in here. Jonathan Isaac is in here. Anderson Verja, we've been looking for him. Peyton Watson, Taylor Hendricks, Anthony Black. Okay, okay. So it looks like the premiere of this set is Oscar Robinson. That's what they're trying to tell me. Is that what they're telling me? I know that's not what they're saying. Okay, so Oscar Robinson is the topper. Well, okay, we'll say, nope, Chris Stapps. Chris Stapps cost the most. Paul George and Chris Stapps cost the most. Okay, but Oscar Robinson is actually the topper of this. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. This here will cost you 298,000 VC to lock in. If you got that and you want to spend it, hey, it's on you, buddy. It's on you, fam. But uh, I don't know. We still got to look into it. We still got to look into the tail of the tape. Let's get over there and see what these cards talking about real quick. Okay, I didn't even see Tyson Chandler in this joint. Tyson Chandler is the season reward. Let's go see what it takes to get bro. All right, so Buddy already is looking bad. 18 Hall of Fame badges, 19 gold ones. He doesn't shoot threes. He has no three-point high zones. He barely has mid-range and inside high zones. So he does play the center power forward, 99 defense, 89 offense. Wow, that's tough. Seven footer, seven foot three wingspan, kind of stubby. Um, I see back now Punisher Bulldozer. He has a 76 three-point shot. So he's a he's an inside center. He's an inside center. If you ever saw one, he has upgradable area wizard, upgradable drop stepper fast twitch really he has all of the inside badges you would want you can get acrobat on him dream shake giant slayer post spin technician and slithery are upgradable all those upgradable his shooting badges are all of them are upgradable you can put everything but post fade phenom which i think he might be better at than anything else i don't see i see an 87 mid a 97 close shot he's slow acceleration wise speed wise is a 91 95 vertical 98 strength he's strong he's an inside center if you ever had one i mean that's that's the best i can say about him right now 80 98 excuse me 98 offense rebound and defense rebound big driver on bro so if you need a big inside center a big burly guy you know what i mean you can you can get to him let's go see what it takes to actually get this sucker uh, uh, can i talk dang let's go see what it takes to actually get this center though what does it take to get tyson chandler Okay, so apparently you get him off a triple threat online. I don't know how to get him, though. Come on. I mean, I don't see him on the prize board anywhere. I'm confused at this point. Uh, I'll figure it out, though. If you want to know, come back here, and I'll let you know somewhere down the line. Maybe near the end of the video. I don't know. I have to figure out how to get, bro. Um, It's a toss-up for me at this point. My bad. 
I really don't like when I can't get you the information that I feel like you need at the moment. You know what I mean? Don't forget that you can still do these skills challenges to get this moments. Luca Doncic, did we go over Luca? We still need to go over Luca. We can go over Luca right now. We still need to touch pause Tyrese Halliburton. But yeah, you got these 11 joints right here. Remember, these 11 joints to get Luca. Yep. All right, I don't know if we went over Luca already in the last video, but we're here now. So let's get into it. Animation wise, he has a normal release timing. He has his his sigs, all his sigs, pro dribble style. Uh, it could be the, it could have been pro two. It could have been pro two. Um, he has his Luca jumper, lower base, upper re release, release timing normal. Uh, I mean, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at that at all. His shooting badges look pretty good. Pretty good. Agent 3, Amp, Blinders, Catch and Shoot, Dead Eye, Limitless Range is purple. Space Creator, Volume Shooter, purple. Volume Shooter, purple is pretty good. Um, I see ah, defensive badges are low. Mid playmaking badges, but he has killer combos on purple. Floor General on purple. Uh, I can I can sig with that. I can sig with that. It could have been better, but pro dribble style, what more, what more can you ask for? 97 three-point shot. Um, I mean... I could add him to my roster, point guard, shooting guard, but I don't know. I feel like I have a better point guard, shooting guard than that. He has all of the hot spots. So, I mean, take that with a grain of salt or whatnot. If you want Luca on your lineup, I'm not mad at it, but it's not something that I would be putting priority with. The fact that you can get him for free is the best part. So if you need that, that's a free card you can go get. As far as the mobile the mobile prize, Therese Halliburton. I think I told you in the TikTok video, you can go get Tyrese Halliburton. You have to download the mobile game. He's a mobile reward. You have to download NBA 2K24, My Team Mobile or Mobile My Team or something. And yeah, that's how you get, bro. That is how you get, buddy. He has a 94 three-point shot. I'm not mad at that. And I've been actually, I've been cooking with bro offline. Not gonna lie. And trying to run through these uh these triple threats to get Larry Bird. I don't I don't know. I'm not mad at him. He has Agent 3 blinders, catch and shoot, limitless range. You can upgrade corner specialist. You can upgrade green machine and guard up. And you can upgrade Claymore. I've been shooting with him on ball. I've been on ball sigging to shoot with bro, and it's not he's not a bad look. Blinders, catch and shoot, limitless range, agent three, that's combination. I mean, I would put that green machine in that guard up up if you really want to run with him online. Uh, Playmaking wise, he has OK sigs. I can let me see. I can show you his animations. LeBron James dribble style, which is not bad. Base motion style. He has Allen Iverson combo. A lot of pro breakdowns, moving crossover, moving behind the back, which is not bad. Pro signature size up. Uh, his escape moves pro, which is not a bad escape. Um, moving step back is John Wall. I'm not mad at that. Uh, I mean, I can get, I'm getting open with him. His release timing is on normal, which is not bad for him with it. He has like a froggy kind of release. So, I mean, that's not bad with him. The only drawback, I would say his ball handle is 98. I'm sorry. His, his ball handle is 89. Check that. B with ball though is 95. So he's not too bad with the ball in his hand. You can boost that ball handle if you want to. You throw that shoe on him. I put that shoe on him to get his three-point a little higher, I believe. His acceleration is nice at 95. His speed is nice at 95. So, I mean, if you want to go cook with bro, it's not a bad, it's not a bad chef. You, I mean, and for the fact that it's a free card, you can go get, it's not a bad look. Really not. I mean, like I said, the best thing about those cards are that they're free, but let's get into what I'm looking at for these seismic drops this seismic drop is crazy the fact that we get vince carter we get paul george and chris stops this week is i mean hey you're going into the weekend looking like a big dog if you can grab these i mean let's take a look at vince first i want to go ahead and look at vince let's put him on xbox series and p5 43 gold ones, 18 Hall of Fames. He's missing one hot spot from the mid-range. Top left. I mean, 
this is a small forward shooting guard that you want to want on your team. 99 offense, 99 defense. He does come with a 96 three-point shot, which is amazing. You can make that 99. He got that 99-3 if you put that shoe on him. His ball handling is 93. Speed with ball, 96. Acceleration, 94. He has a 99 vertical. As far as his driving dunk, 98 driving dunk, you can put that on 99. I mean, and defensively, he looks like a monster with 95 perimeter, 95 help defense, 90 steal. I would want that steal to be a little higher, but you can't have everything. He does come with clamps, 94 feet, anchor. That's surprising. Uh, pick dodger gold hmm, fast feet gold upgradable you can upgrade a lot of these defensive badges to make him a beast out here playmaking wise hyper drive is purple killer combo speed booster purple okay ankle breaker purple agent threes blinders catch and shoot corner limitless and slippery off ball are all purple and it looks like guard up is upgradable green machine most of these all of these shooting badges are upgradable except for post fade phenom so hey, if you if you like his jumper, what is his jumper looking like? It's Vince Carter on normal. That's not bad. He has Kobe Bryant breakdown. What is his escape? Pro escape. Okay, Vince Carter's not looking like a bad pickup. I mean, you might be able to actually get jiggy with bro. Kyrie's moving crossover. You might be able to get jiggy with bro. Zach Levine dribble style. That's not terrible. You know he has all of the look at these dunk packages he's loaded with dunk packages bro he's loaded with dunk packages that is that's this is a cheat code if you come across this seismic pickup vince carter you already won the game bro let's look at paul george i mean i'm not about to be mad at this paul george card 92 offense 99 defense missing one hot spot from the inside right that's kind of crazy uh, 18 Hall of Fames, 43 gold ones. I'm not mad at bro either. I want to go ahead and say with a 95 three-point shot, you can upgrade that to 99 with a shoe. I'm not mad at that at all. You know, the shooting badges are all upgradable except for post fade phenom. Once again, he has already has agent threes, blinders, and limitless range on purple. He doesn't really get that. He got that blow by badge, handle for days and hyperdrive and killer combos. It looks like everything is upgradable here except for a big driver. He's loaded with defensive badges too. Purple 94 feet, purple right stick ripper, purple glove, purple clamps. That's all you really can ask for. And the rest of these badges are upgradable except for immovable enforcer. I mean, that's not a card to be mad at at all. With a 94 ball handle, 90 acceleration. Acceleration is kind of low. 94 speed but 90 that acceleration is a little bit low he got that 97 vert his driving dunk is at a 97 i mean if you want to stack this card on your lineup this is not a bad small forward shooting guard to pick up at 6 8 he's very tall for a shooting guard you know paul george is not a bad player in general so i'm not mad at going and picking up this paul george if you want this card i mean i wouldn't be mad at at picking him up but we want to take all of these with a grain of salt we want to take these pickups with a grain of salt because we i mean if we're smart enough to realize these cards are not going to be the end all beat all these are not in game cards this is not the end of the you know what i mean it's only season four so next week these joints might be outdated so i mean pick wisely this Kristaps looks crazy off glance though 95 three-point shot that's wild he has a low acceleration but i mean come on he's a center that's one thing that i'm not liking he's only a center yao ming is coming out for chinese new year we we suspect i mean if we're only if we're only thinking on our toes with a 96 defense 99 offense this might be your second string big if you're looking for something like that it only runs the center's position we would want this seven footer we would want this guy seven foot three at the four spot. I mean, ideally, that's what we would want. Yeah, he has low acceleration, low perimeter defense, but we would want to see him at the four spot, if anything. I'm I'm a little bit upset with that. 94 offensive rebound, 94 defensive rebounding. I mean, come on. At that rate, you would really want to see him at the four spot. Agent threes, blinders, catch and shoot, corner specialist, dead eye, green machine, guard up, limitless, open looks, and spot finder all on Hall of Fame. 
everything is upgradable on this card. All his shooting cards, all his shooting badges, excuse me, are upgradable except for post fade phenom. Again, so I'm seeing a I'm seeing a trend with this with this pack drop that all of these badges are upgradable except for one or two. 94 feet and right stick ripper are not upgradable on his defense, but everything on his everything in his playmaking is upgradable. He has all upgradable except for relay passer. So you can stack this card out badge wise, but I don't think this is the card to throw all those badges on seeing as how he has a 78 ball handle, 76 speed. He has low speed in the yellows low perimeter defense low acceleration and he only plays the center spot that's what's gonna that's the peg leg for chris Stapps. so at first it was looking like the card that i was looking for but at this point i'm thinking i'm thinking chris Stapps is a quick sell and then save the vc for or save the mt for what's coming out next out of this pack drop i really feel like i'm looking for vince carter the most vince carter has what looks like the best setup the best setup is coming from it may be coming from from Vince Carter I don't know I'm I mean that's just a teller to take from my view let's get into ending the video we're gonna matter of fact we're gonna end the video out like that we took up enough time be on the lookout for whatever is going on with the terms of service update because this is gonna be serious business this is really gonna make or break what we might be going into in the next coming weeks or for maybe even the rest of the year for 2k they look like they about to try to get down and dirty and they might be planning on i don't know throwing some wrenches in the who knows hey like and subscribe be back here to, to keep the conversation going bro i'm just here to talk about it yeah you know i mean you cheer.